Welcome back to the channel of Kim Pacific. Today we are going to discuss on the first law of thermodynamics. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now let's get started. Now this first law of thermodynamics is nothing but it tells us about the law of conservation of energy. And what is that? That is nothing but uh, that's a simple one that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. Okay, it can only be transferred from one form to the other. Now, this first law of thermodynamics does not give us any information about the direction of the reaction. It only gives us information whether the, that whether the reaction is happening or not, and that is nothing but the law of conservation of energy. So let's solve one problem. It's given the first law of thermodynamics is what? The first law of thermodynamics is the conservation of nothing but the conservation of energy. This is the answer. Now, let us understand what do we mean by the first law of thermodynamics. Say students, um, yeah, pe, Number one, I have written something over here that the work is done on the system. These things are very important uh, for us to notice. The first thing that work is done on a system and the total work is completely utilized in, in increasing the internal energy. At the same time, the system absorbs heat. Okay, last jo videos hai, waha pe maine aap logo se already discuss kiya hai, that work done on the system agar hai, to it is positive sign and if the heat is absorbed, it is also positive sign, do check it out. And um, see, so if we consider a cylinder with a piston and number one, they are telling you that the work is done on the system. If the work is done on the system, so it is definitely positive. And again, the heat is absorbed by the system. Okay, so again it is going to be positive. And if we consider the initial internal energy to be U1. So, the system is having the internal energy U1 and then some amount of work is done on the system for which we have taken this positive sign and the system is absorbing some amount of heat from the surroundings and the initial internal energy was u1 okay now students you see this is very important uh final internal energy if you consider the total the final internal energy to be u2 ye kaise bane u2 क्योंकि उस सिस्टम का ये जो सिस्टम था इसका इंटरनल एनर्जी पहले क्या था U1 सो सम वर्क इज डन ऑन द सिस्टम ठीक है इसलिए प्लस W राइट एंड इट इज अब्जॉर्बिंग यू अमाउंट ऑफ इट देयरफॉर टोटल इंटरनल एनर्जी जो है दिस टर्न्स आउट टू बी द इनिशियल इंटरनल एनर्जी प्लस द वर्क डन प्लस द हीट ये टोटल करके इट टर्न्स आउट टू बी द टोटल इंटरनल एनर्जी U2 Therefore, you can definitely write that U2 minus U1 is equal to Q plus W. Therefore, delta U is also equal to Q plus W. This is very important. So, this is how the first law of thermodynamics is to write. At the same time, you can also represent it like this that when uh, system is moving from state A to state B then according to the first law of thermodynamics which is equal to du is equal to dq plus dw okay since they are moving from state A to B so you can integrate this so, as already discussed in my previous video, that uh, we know that this internal energy is a state function. That is why you can represent this internal energy as UB minus UA because it depends only on the state, initial state and the final state. But since Q and W, both of them are path function, if you integrate this, then only you will be getting Q plus W only. So, at the same time, this is also is equal to delta U, which is equal to Q plus W. 
Now, this is very interesting. See, student, you can uh, clearly see one thing that we know that delta u is what? This is nothing but state function. But in this case, both u and w, both of them are path functions. Both of them. But, but what students? Even though q and in individually q and w both of them are path functions but the addition of two path functions the addition of two path function is resulting in the in what a state function so this is very interesting and important so even though q and w both of them are path functions but the addition of two path functions is nothing but internal energy in this case and that is a state function so let us move on to a question uh, consider the following statements that uh, with the reference to thermodynamics, let uh, point number one, Q is a state function. No, it's not true. What is a state function? It's also false. But Q and W, Q and W is a state function. This is correct, Hena, because Q plus W is nothing but the internal energy delta U, and which is a state function. And we know that delta U is nothing but a state function. Clear to all of you students? So the answer is 2, 3 only. This is the correct statement. Right? So we have already derived that the first law of thermodynamics is nothing. That du is equal to dq plus dw. Clear? So if you say it's at constant volume. Now we have to uh, consider if you say this at constant volume. Kya hoga? So at constant volume what will happen when it is constant volume you have v constant and you have dv is equal to zero okay now since dw is equal to minus pdv therefore dw is equal to minus p into 0 which is equal to 0 clear so from this first law of thermodynamics this turns out to be du is equal to dq why because dw is now is equal to 0 at constant p now Therefore, it is very much clear to you, you can denote it as at constant P, U at constant P. So, what does it mean? It means that the heat absorbed at constant volume increases the internal energy. So, this is very important students. It means that the heat absorbed, the heat absorbed, at constant volume increases the internal energy is it thoda dhyan se dekho maine kya kaha maine ka heat absorb जब दो चीज कहा मैंने कहा हीट अब्सॉर्ब्ड क्लियर एंड इट इंक्रीजेस द इंटरनल एनर्जी सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ दिस थिंग व्हेन आई से दैट हीट अब्सॉर्ब्ड इट मींस आपका dq क्या हो जाएंगे अमाउंट ऑफ हीट अब्सॉर्ब्ड इज नथिंग बट पॉजिटिव एंड इट इंक्रीजेस द इंटरनल एनर्जी q अगर dq आपका जीरो हो जाता है यहां पे heat is absorbed by the system तो ये अगर positive हो जाते हैं तो फिर आपका du क्या हो जाएगा du भी positive हो जाएंगे du positive मतलब du को formula क्या है n cv dt मतलब t2 minus t1 वो positive हो जाएंगे तो ये कब positive हो सकता है when t2 is greater than t1 and 
this means that the internal energy is increasing why i am giving a lot of emphasis on this things because thermodynamics mein sign agar aapka clear nahi hai aap jitna bhi padhai karo hamesha aapko cylindric hone ka chances bahut zyada hai isliye bahut chote chote cheez bhi explain karna bahut important hai isse students bahut confident ho jate hain bahut acche se result karte hain now we are moving on to the next topic uh, next one and that is at constant temperature so now you know कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर अगर होगा तो फिर क्या हो जाएगा अगर टेम्परेचर कॉन्स्टेंट है तो फिर टी अगर कॉन्स्टेंट है तो फिर डी टी क्या हो जाएगा जीरो अगर डी टी जीरो है देन डी यू क्या हो जाएगा चीज इक्वल टू एन सी वी डी टी ये क्या हो जाएगा ये हो जाएगा आपका जीरो क्लियर सो अगर ये जीरो है अकॉर्डिंग टू द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स यू नो दैट डी यू इज इक्वल टू डी क्यू प्लस डी डब्ल्यू नाउ ये तो आपका जीरो हो जाते हैं एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर है ना सो दे फोर यू हैव डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस डी डब्ल्यू नाउ दिस इज वेन यू आर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट इट इन लैंग्वेज यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ द डायरेक्शन ठीक है सो यहाँ पे हम क्या बोल सकते हैं यहाँ पे हम बोलेंगे द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट अब्जॉर्ब वी कैन से द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट अब्जॉर्ब तो दिस इज हीट इज गिवन इन पॉजिटिव एंड डी क्यू वॉट इज डन इन नेगेटिव सो यू कैन से द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट अब्जॉर्ब ध्यान से देखो स्टूडेंट अमाउंट ऑफ हीट अब्जॉर्ब बाय द सिस्टम by the system from the surroundings is equal to the work done by the system on the surroundings work done by the system ऑन द सराउंडिंग सो देखो स्टूडेंट्स हमेशा जो मैं आप लोगों को बताती हूँ कि डायरेक्शन 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 यहाँ पे कितना अच्छे से हम एक्सप्लेन कर पाएंगे इसे हम अच्छे से देख लेते हैं क्लियर सो यहाँ पे क्या कहा ध्यान से देखो यहाँ पे है हीट अब्जॉर्ब by the system from the surrounding ठीक है when the heat is absorbed by the system from the surroundings तो यहाँ पे direction देखो heat is getting absorbed by the system from the surroundings so this is the Q right then the work is done work is done by the system on the surroundings तो यहाँ पे From the surroundings, यहाँ पे है from the surroundings, यहाँ पे है on the surroundings. तो फिर इसका work done का direction हम देख लेते हैं Work done is by the system on the surroundings. See, both of them are having different sign. Since it is heat is absorbed, it is positive signs, and since the work is done, so this is negative sign. Clear? So बहुत ही ज़्यादा important है. Now Now let us move on to the next one for cyclic process and uh, for cyclic process we all know that uh, state functions zero होते हैं so delta u यहाँ पे zero हो जाएंगे आपको so therefore आपका क्या हो जाएगा du zero हो जाते हैं again you have the same story if du is equal to u zero therefore dq is equal to minus d delta Again the same story that uh, the amount of heat absorbed by the system so heat is positive so heat absorbed heat absorbed 
by the system from the surroundings from the surroundings is equal to the work done by the system on the surroundings. So this two are nothing but indicating the direction. Take care of this word from and this on. Now the next one for adjectivity process. So adjectivity process, uh, we all know that for adjectivity process, kya ho jayenge? TQ zero ho jayenge. So therefore, according to first law of thermodynamics, kya ho jayenge? DU is equal to DQ plus DW. Therefore, DU is equal to DW. So, if the work is done on the system if the work is done on the system, what will happen? DW positive ho jayenge, then the internal energy energy will increase and if work is done if the work is done by the system then what will happen the internal energy will decrease because work done by the system kya hota hai? Work done by the system negative ho jayenge. Phir aapka DW ho jayenge aapka negative. And DU bhi aapko negative ho jayenge. It means that the internal energy will decrease. Now let us move on uh, to a question that one mole of uh, perfect gas expands adiabatically. So, one mole of a perfect gas. So, I have always said that this is what language hai, iske saath, mathematical terms. Ke saath, aapko relate karna hai. So, it is a perfect gas. It expands adiabatically. As a result of which, its pressure, temperature and volume changes from this to this. And if the molar specific heat at constant volume is Cv, the work done by the gas. Kya hoga? So they are talking about what is done by the gas, by the system. It means, kya ho jayenge? That expansion ho jayenge. So, hume kya karna hai? Hume har ek cheez ko bohat achche se relate karna hai. So, it is a perfect gas. So, gas we are going to take is equal to PV is equal to NRT. And they are telling it is adiabatic. Since this is adiabatic process, you have to take DQ is equal to 0. Okay. At the same time, PV to the power gamma is constant. This is constant. Ho gaya? Ye mein, at the end of this video, I am going to explain you. Now, they are asking that work done by the system. If the work is done by the system, it means that expansion is taking place. Clear? Now, we have to solve this. See students, now let's solve the problem. See students, that we know, we have already, I have shown you that DW is nothing but it is equal to by formula minus PDV. And since it is expansion from V1 to V2, expected that V2 is greater than V1. So, which is equal to so, integration of dw is equal to nothing but w. Okay? Now, since the process is adiabatic, since the process is adiabatic, what do we have? We have 
डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो ये तो हमें ऑलरेडी पता है एंड ऑल्सो पी वी टू दी पर गामा इज कॉन्स्टेंट आई एम डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू शो यू टूडे एट द एंड ऑफ माई वीडियो पी वी टू दी पर गामा इज कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ सी स्टूडेंट इफ पी वी टू दी पर गामा इज कॉन्स्टेंट यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट दैट पी वी टू दी पर गामा लेट्स टेक वन कॉन्स्टेंट के दैट वाई यू कैन राइट दैट पी इज इक्वल टू के इन टू वी टू दी पर माइनस गामा Now, since P V to the power gamma is constant, therefore you can also write P one V one to the power gamma is equal to P two V two to the power gamma, which is nothing but equal to K. Clear? Now, putting the value of P in the equation one, what do we have? See, if this is your equation one, what you will have if you put the value of P. substituting p tableau is equal to minus from v1 to v2 you have k dv to the power minus gamma into dv सो लास्ट वीडियो में भी मैंने ये डिस्कस किए थे आई नो बहुत स्टूडेंट्स को पता है बट फिर भी एक बार रिकैप कर देते हैं दैट जो ये v है v कभी p को इंटीग्रेट नहीं कर सकते हैं तो आपको हमेशा p को सब्सटीट्यूट करना है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ v सो दैट इज वाई आई हैव सब्सटीट्यूटेड p एंड रिटर्न p इज इक्वल टू v इंटू ए इंटू वी टू दिपर माइनस वन नाउ If you take this thing out, you'll find this is k into integration of v1 to v2, v2 to the power minus gamma into t. Now, on further solving this, you have this is minus k into. If you solve this integration, you will find out this is v2 to the power minus gamma plus one divided by minus gamma plus one from v1 to v2. This results in minus k into one minus gamma. So upper limit minus lower limit. Now what I'm going to do is this is very important, student. Make k जो है k को अंदर लेके जा रही हो. ठीक है. So k will turn out k. Into v to the power one minus gamma and minus k into v one to the power one minus gamma. See one thing, students. As already I have written over here that k is both equal to this and this. Now what I'm going to do is k का जो ये value है जहाँ पे v two है So this is one minus gamma minus one. और k का ये जो value है जहाँ पे आपका v two है वहाँ पे मैं k का value लिख रही हूँ p two into v two to the power gamma into v two to the power one minus gamma और जहाँ पे v one है वहाँ पे मैं लिख रही हूँ k का value p one into v one to the power gamma into v one one minus gamma. क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू फिर से मैं बताती हूँ जहाँ पे आपका यहाँ पे जो v2 है इन दैट केस आई एम राइटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ k लाइक p2 v2 वी टू जहाँ पे वी वन है इन दैट केस आई एम राइटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ p एस p1 v1 वी वन तो इसे ये क्या होगा इससे प्रॉब्लम बहुत ईजीली सॉल्व हो जाएंगे एंड दिस विल टर्न आउट टू बी दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाय गामा माइनस वन इंटू पी टू वी टू माइनस पी वन पी वन ओके नाउ सी स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव ऑलरेडी मेंशन इन द प्रॉब्लम दैट दिस इज वन परफेक्ट गैस परफेक्ट गैस मीन्स आइडियल गैस तो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक दिस फॉर्मूला पी वी इज इक्वल टू एन आर टी सो सिंस इज द परफेक्ट गैस सो दे फॉर फॉर आइडियल गैस
what do we have? We have PV is equal to NRT. So you can also write that P1 V1 is equal to NRT1 at the same time P2 V2 is equal to NRT2. So if you substitute this value over here, you will be getting the work done W is equal to 1 by gamma minus 1 into nrt2 minus nrt1 and this is equal to nr by gamma minus 1 which is t2 minus t1. Now see students uh, r is equal to nothing but r is equal to cp minus cv right and gamma is also cp by cv. So this is t2 minus t1. If you solve it, you will be getting this n cv t2 minus t1. So this is the answer. n cv t2 minus t1. So the answer for perfect mole the work done by the gas adiabatically is NCV T2 minus T1. So the work done is NCV T2 minus T1. And they have mentioned you one mole. They have mentioned you one mole over here. So N is equal to 1. So the answer is 4. I hope this is clear to all of you. And before I proceed, here I have to students ko inform karna hai that kabhi -kabhi kuch -kuch books mein, first law of thermodynamics se thoda sa, uh, different sign mein ek, uh, difference aa jate hai. and wo main ko explain karte hai. difference hota nahi hai, basically um, dono hi same hai. Kabhi -kabhi kuch -kuch books mein do type ki representations hote hai. Jaise ki maine aapko represent kiya, du is equal to dq plus tw in this case what i need to do when i you when i'm using this formula in this case we consider that dw is equal to minus pdv so your formula kya ho jayenge? this formula is nothing du is equal to dq minus pdv Kuch -kuch books mein, sometimes in some books you will find out instead of writing this formula they write like this du is equal to dq minus is bohot students yaha pe confused ho jate hai okay in this case the formula ye use ke jate hai always remember waha pe wo log dw ko kya likhte hai pdv kyunki maine aap logo ko pehle hi kaha tha ki work done is the numerical value so sometimes they write like this to yaha pe agar dw ko agar aap substitute karte ho to aapko so ultimately dekho ye formula and ye formula ultimately dono hi same hai to kuch kuch books mein agar thoda sa aise de dete hain to usme confused mat ho jao dono hi same hai to but dono ke time dw ko alag tarike se represent kiye gaye hain clear now uh, next problem you have this problem number 4 in an isothermal change the internal energy so obviously isothermal ka matlab kya hai isothermal ka matlab ho jata hai dt is equal to 0 ho jata hai kyunki t constant ho jata hai and we know that the internal energy du is equal to ncv dt to ye kya ho jayenge zero ho jayenge du zero ho jata hai matlab change in internal energy zero ho jata hai which means that the internal energy which is u internal energy which is u is constant right so the answer is the internal energy does not change it remains the same so thoda sa student ekdam chote chote baat hai ye dt zero hota hai t constant hota hai about the sign ye bahut chote chote baat agar aap clear ho jate ho bahut easily aap thermodynamics ko kar sakte ho
Now let us move on to the uh, next one, the last problem. Show that for a reversible adiabatic process. So this is what I was talking about. When I was adiabatic process, I was telling you that adiabatic process to dq is equal to 0. We have already done when we know. But PV to the power gamma is constant or rather TV to the power gamma minus 1 ये जो terms हो जाते हैं constant ये कैसे हो जाते हैं ये मैं आपको mathematically derive करके दिखाती हूँ Now uh, let us solve this that अगर adiabatic हो जाते हैं तो ये जो expression मैंने दिया है तो ये हम कैसे solve करें The first जो हम solve करने वाले हैं वो ये है TV to the power gamma minus 1 is constant उसके बाद हम धीरे धीरे बाकी uh, सारे expressions भी solve कर लेंगे Now Let's start. Now we know that from first law of thermodynamics, kya ho jayenge? First law of thermodynamics jo hai, du is equal to dq plus dw. Since they have given you information, this is, this is an adiabatic process. Jabho adiabatic ho jayenge, to kya ho jayega aapka? To aapka ho jayenge, dq is equal to zero. So, ये जो आपको language दिया है, इसके हमने mathematical expression पहले derive किया है, and then we have to put over here. So, for adiabatic process, since we have dq is equal to zero, you have du changes to dw. ठीक है? Or you can also write du minus T W is equal to zero. Now we know that uh, internal energy is equal to N C V D T, and work done is equal to minus P D V, which is equal to zero, and therefore N C V D T plus P D V is equal to zero. Now, since this is uh, one ideal gas, they have given you information. This is one ideal gas. So, for ideal gas, and just let's take n is equal to 1, you have PV is equal to NRT, n is equal to 1, and therefore P is equal to RT by V. Mana ye q here. क्योंकि मुझे क्या करना है मुझे इंटीग्रेट करना है नाउ सी स्टूडेंट्स बहुत बेसिक चीज मैं आपको बताने वाली हूं बट इससे आप डेरिवेशंस ऑफ बहुत अच्छे से डेरिवेटिव प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर पाओगे बहुत बार मैंने आप लोगों को कहा है दैट ये जो NCV है dt तो अगर मैं इसे इंटीग्रेशन करना है तो मैं जानती हूं ये जो dt है ये dt सिर्फ और सिर्फ इसे इंटीग्रेट कर सकते हैं टी को इंटीग्रेट कर सकते हैं है ना सो दैट इज व्हाई हमें ये जो एक्सप्रेशंस रहते हैं इसके सामने इसी के फॉर्म में ही लाना है अगर नहीं है तो हमें सब्स्टिट्यूट करना है तो मैंने यहां पे लिख दिया दैट पीवी इज पी इज इक्वल टू आरटी दैट पी इज इक्वल टू आरटी बाय वी तो इसे मैं सब्स्टिट्यूट कर रही हूं सब्स्टिट्यूटिंग पी Substitute career substituting P we get N C V D T plus R T by V D V. So, मुझे थोड़ा सा इसे बहुत अच्छे से क्या करना है रीअरेंज कर लेना है एंड uh, देखो जहां पे डीटी है वही पे मुझे टी लाना है क्योंकि डीटी तो सिर्फ टी को इंटीग्रेट कर सकते हैं ना तो यहां पे मैं एन सीवी डिवाइडिंग बाय टी सो डीटी बाय टी लेके आओ प्लस आर इनटू डीवी बाय पी व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 0 नाउ आर व्हाट इज आर वी नो दैट आर इज नथिंग but it is equal to CP minus CV. Clear? R is nothing but this is equal to CP minus CV. This is the gas constant. Now, देखो students, uh, मुझे gamma लाना है क्योंकि मुझे जो proof करना है वो है uh, TV 
v to the power gamma minus 1 is constant and here happy me like that you that r is a gas constant which is equal to cp minus cv yes sir we will prove it slowly and this is gamma is equal to cp by cv so i have to take gamma if i have to take gamma then i need this expression if it is not i have to make it clear so what can we do you can divide the whole thing by CV. So, what will you do? N is equal to 1. If you take it, if it is N is equal to 1, then you have dt by t plus cp by cv minus 1 into dv by v. I have so much rearranged it that you can easily integrate this. Okay? So, integrating both sides, we get integration of dt by t plus since cp minus cv is gamma i'm going to write as gamma minus 1 which is a constant you can take it out of the integration dv by v is equal to 0 now see students hamesha yaad rakho this is known as indefinite integrals indefinite integrals jab aap solve karte ho jab aapka solution ho jata hai tab ek constant aata hai now by formula we know integration of dx by this this is the formula is equal to what is equal to ln x now plus a constant aa jata hai plus c hota hai now ye jo c hai aap ise koi bhi formula thus form में लिख सकते हो I can write in LNC form ठीक है so कभी भी indefinite integral को जब आप solve करते हो तो आप तब हो जब solve हो जाते हैं तब क्या हो जाता है तब उसमें एक constant लाना important होता है so आपको ये क्या हो जाएंगे ये LNT हो जाएंगे plus gamma minus one into ln v हो जाएंगे is equal to ln c क्योंकि मैंने इसे सॉल्व किया मेरा इंटीग्रल साइन ऊपर चला गया सो यहाँ पे क्या हो जाएंगे ln a प्लस ln b जो है तो यहाँ पे हो जाएंगे ln t प्लस ln v टू दी पावर गामा माइनस वन क्यों फॉर्मूला क्या है फॉर्मूला ये है दैट a ln x इज इक्वल टू ln x to the power a so that's what I have done is equal to ln c now ln a plus ln b what is it? ln a plus ln b is equal to ln a into b okay so what is the next formula ln ln a plus ln you have ln a plus ln b is equal to ln a into b so this is equal to isle mene ya pe kiya hai this is equal to ln c and therefore you have t ln hum cut kabhi nahi dikhate next step hum kya karte hai isse likhte nahi hai you cannot write like you are cutting this you cannot do this this is equal to constant and hence what it is proved that adiabatic process ke liye t v to the power gamma minus 1 is constant तो ये तो हमें हो गया है t v to the power gamma minus one is constant हो गया है तो next हम p to the power v is constant वो भी कर लेते very easy so when you have t v to the power gamma minus 1 is constant from the ideal gas equation you know that pv is equal to rt for n is equal to 1 and therefore t is equal to pv by r now you say substitute kar do aapko kya a jayenge pv by r into v to the power gamma minus 1 is equal to constant now see we know that R is also constant, hai na? P V into V to the power gamma minus one is equal to R into constant. 
विच इज अगेन अ कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज आर इज ऑल्सो गैस कॉन्स्टेंट है ना सो ये क्या हो जाएंगे पी इन टू वी टू दी पॉवर वन है ना प्लस गामा माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट एंड दे फोर पी वी टू दी पॉवर गामा इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट ये भी मेरा प्रूफ हो गया सो एडिटिक प्रोसेस कभी भी आपको लैंग्वेज में दिए जाएंगे तो तुरंत आपको दो चीज लिखना है डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पी वी टू दीपर गामा इज कॉन्स्टेंट और एनी ऑफ द फॉर्म डिपेंडिंग कि आपको जो प्रॉब्लम करने के लिए दिया है वहां पर कौन सा फॉर्म रिक्वायर्ड है क्लियर एंड नाउ द लास्ट वन ऑल यू हैव टू प्रूफ दैट वी हैव टू प्रूफ नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव टू प्रूफ टी टू दीपर गामा into p to the power वन minus gamma is constant very easy तो यहाँ पर मैंने क्या लिया यहाँ पर मेरा जो t जो है वो रह गया मुझे v को substitute करना है तो मेरे पास already जो formula था t p to the power gamma minus वन ये constant है ठीक है therefore you can write you can substitute and you can write that v is equal to आर टी बाई पी देन यू सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी ओवर यू यूर एट टी इन टू आर टी बाई पी होल टू दी पर गामा माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट अब इसे सॉल्व करोगे तो आपको मिलेंगे टी इन टू टी टू दी पर गामा माइनस वन इन टू पी टू दी पर वन माइनस गामा इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट एंड देर फोर यू हैव ये थर्ड फॉर्म भी आपका प्रूफ हो गया अब तीनों ही करेक्ट है आप कौन सा यूज करने वाले हो दैट इज एज पर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम आप जो सॉल्व कर रहे हो वहां पे आपका रिक्वायरमेंट क्या दिया है वो देख के आप कोई भी फॉर्म इसमें यूज कर सकते हो तो एडिटिव प्रोसेस मैंने प्रूफ कर दिया कैसे ये तीनों फॉर्म बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है तो कभी भी एडिवेटिव प्रोसेस आप देखते हो तो वहां पे आप हमेशा ये लिखना दैट डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पी वी का गामा इज कॉन्स्टेंट तो हमेशा कोई भी लैंग्वेज है उसके साथ जब तक आप ये सीख जाते हो कि पैथमेटिकल टर्म्स भी रिलेट करना सीख जाते हो आप देखेंगे कि बहुत ईजिली थर्मोडाइनमिक्स को आप बहुत अच्छे से सीख जाते हो ठीक है सो आज की क्लास यहाँ पे एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग अवर वीडियो एंड स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द लाइक बटन थैंक यू